In this episode, I head to Pennsylvania for the Devon Horse Show. Ride saddle seat for the first time. And meet the women responsible for a family tradition that has been going on for three generations. The Devon Horse Show is both the oldest and the largest outdoor multi-breed horse competition in the United States. It was started in 1896. Competitors and spectators come from all over the world. With traditional tea sandwiches. and hard to eat lemon sticks. This truly is a show unlike any other. And I was there for the saddlebreds. And, and we're just, we're trying to capture that as, as trainers, as riders, as exhibitors, this, this energy, this charisma, this the majesty of the horse. And, and that's, our, that's our goal. And even the crowd around me kept saying, why are you all doing that yeah. screaming thing? And I was like, it's supposed to be a horse show, it's supposed to be exciting, right? right? I said, do you cheer at hockey games? Do you cheer at football games? Like, I said, that the horses and the riders get more excited when they think you like them. They're like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So then the crowd gets into it too. A quick road trip brought me to Scottfield Stables and my first introduction to saddle seat with trainer Alicia Owens, who was recently awarded the 2018 Young Professional of the Year Award by the United Professional Horsemen's Association. So we have, the Saddlebreds have a program called the Academy Program, and that's really meant to be an introduction to showing horses. We're gonna start you like we would an okay. Academy rider, so this would be a good Academy horse. Good. Okay, so a couple things you're gonna notice right away. You're missing something. <laughs> Nero! Yes. <laughs> yes. An ideal saddle seat horse or ideal saddle bread is going to take you someplace. Okay. If we want them to do they need to stop, they need to be responsive, but if you're doing nothing, yeah. they should be trying to go. We want them to be forward thinking horses. Okay. So essentially, you don't want to step on the gas. Yes. The gas should already be there. The okay. horse should already be going. Okay. So part of the, the lack of the knee roll is to help your body get into a position that allows you to release the lower leg. Oh, 90 degrees. Flat. We want to start to sit right about there. Oh wow, okay. So, so pretty far open with the leg. Close to a 45 degree angle, okay. yeah. A kind of a nice amount of contact is if you were to think about just the weight of your arm against your mouth, that's what we want. Okay. And then it was time for a group ride with Renna, Ashley, and Candy. I love this. Three generations of equestrians just right in front of me. I was just a horse crazy little girl. I couldn't go past a pony ride without begging my parents to stop. When Ashley was a baby, I used to bring the porta crib and put it in the middle of the ring so that she could see me and I'd be riding around and she'd be in the porta crib watching. Oh my God. But we, I think the best thing about it now is that I grew up with my grandparents um, supporting my mom and myself and my sisters and now my mom's the grandmother supporting me and my daughter doing this and more than the riding or the competing is the aspect of just doing it together. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I had appendicitis when I was like 11 or 12 and they, you know, I got operated on and then um, my parents came in and they said the doctors asked what I did because I had such <laughs> muscle, tight I, stomach I, muscles, oh. tight stomach muscles. <laughs> they said, what does this little kid do that she has muscles like this? She's a horse rider. Right. <laughs> so anybody who says this is not a sport, right. come try it. <laughs> 